Hello everybody, Fixer here. Today I have for you a game called A Slower Speed of Light. So uh, this was developed by the MIT Game Lab, and, and yes, that MIT. And it is free, you can, I'll put a link in the description below so you can go check it out yourself and download it. It's an open source game. And uh, I found it interesting what they tried to do with this game. And, and I'm gonna try to explain it briefly. And, and just to warn you, um, as far as physics go, I'm just as ignorant as the next guy, but that doesn't mean I can't find it fascinating, right? So what they set out to do is they wanted to show people what the world would look like if you could travel at the speed of light. Of course, that'd be difficult. It'd be kind of strange. It's hard for humans to kind of picture that, right? Uh, us approaching and, and traveling at or near the speed of light. So what they did was instead, they slowed down the speed of light gradually. And, and the, there's mechanics in the game for you to do it manually. They slow it down gradually until it approaches your walking speed relative to the ground you're walking on. So that way you can actually see the effects of what things would look like if you were to approach the speed of light. And if you could see things like infrared and ultraviolet light, which of course we can't with our eyeballs. I'm gonna jump right in it. So I found that really fascinating thing to take a look at. And it's not a very long game, we're talking like five minutes, but you get a, a nifty idea, I think, anyways. Uh, once upon a time in a quiet village, there was a little child. Sadly, the little child fell into death's icy grip far too soon. The little child's spirit began the journey to become one with light. But the speed of light was too fast for the small and clumsy little spirit. Luckily, the spirit world is full of magical orbs that slow down light. Collect orbs to slow down light to walking speed so you can finally move on. See how many orbs you've collected? There are 100 orbs. We have to collect all 100. Compare your own speed to the speed of light. This is the light spectrum. As light gets slower, you will start to see beyond what humans can typically see. So here we go. This is the visible light right here. And this is the ultraviolet. And this is the infrared. All right, here we are. We're, we're in some sort of canyon here. And at the bottom left, we have our orb, zero out of 100. We have to collect all 100. Uh, in the middle, we have the uh, visible light to the human eye. And to the left of that is the infrared and, and ultraviolet to the right. And all the way in the bottom right, we have our, our dial or, or indicator of what, what speed we're going at. Um, so we have to collect these orbs. Each orb we collect slows down the speed of light closer to what we're traveling. Now, as you can see, you know, that seems to be much easier than, than as opposed to making me travel faster. So you can imagine me traveling super fast in this canyon with all these obstacles can be quite different. So that's why I found it interesting that, that they slow down light instead of sped up the player. It makes things easier for us to kind of understand what's going on as a person, right? So as you can see, as I move now, because I've, I've added 14 orbs, which means light is slower, and I can see a larger part of the spectrum at the very bottom. I'm seeing a little bit into the ultraviolet, a little bit, bit into the infrared, and of course when I stop, it goes back to normal, because I'm not moving. So I start moving again, and things change. And of course, it becomes a little bit more difficult to, to control, but I think um, it'd been a hell of a lot more difficult if, if they just changed my speed instead of the speed of light, right? So as you can see, things are starting to change quite a bit here. We're, we're seeing, um, let's take this mushroom, all right? We're seeing a little bit of the Doppler effect when it comes to light, right? So we look at this mushroom standing still. It, it's purple and a little bit of blue. But we move towards it, and, and look at the ground as well. We move towards it, and we see a blue shift, right? That's the Doppler effect. We move away, we see a red shift. See, it's green now. Again, we move forward, it blue shifts. So we got, we got the Doppler effect going on as we move. And pretty soon, in fact, you're probably seeing a little bit already, we'll see the... The, um, the searchlight effect, which means that 
the objects in the distance that we're traveling in, they'll become brighter. Look at those huts. You see those huts? They're going to get a little bit brighter as we get as we move towards them. You see how it's lighting up like that? And look at how far into the infrared I can see now. And it's, it's becoming a little bit more difficult to control because we're starting to see a little bit of warping, right? And I should probably warn you guys before we move any further that if you have problem with flashing lights on screen, this might be difficult for you. If you have problem with motion sickness, you're probably going to get it here the way this game gets. Just warning you right now, this is going to make some of you sick. So we got these people in these huts and we're stealing their orbs, I guess. Did I not get this one? So this warping we, we see is called the Lorentz tra transformation. So space kind of warps the closer we get to the speed of light. Look at we're all the way in the infrared now and we're halfway through the ultraviolet. Again, this if this only happens when we're moving. When we stop, everything's normal. We move closer to the speed of light and it all begins to change again. And it becomes much more difficult to move around because um because of the the warpage in space. An object seem, seeming to be further than they are, but when you get close to them, they, they kind of jump out at you, right? Pretty fascinating. You see that? We practically see a rainbow in the sky. It's so cool. And a little bit, bit further into the ultraviolet. Did I not, did I not go for that one? Yeah, it, it's very difficult to control these things. And there's a, there's... A little bit of momentum you got to deal with too. Oh boy. We're almost there anyways. We have 15 left. Look how crazy it's gotten, right? Is there, um, let's go, let's go up to this thing right here. Oh, I almost passed this up. All right, let's go up to this doorway thingy. Look how crazy it's getting. And then moving backward. Is this getting further? Now, I don't know how they can show actual, like, time dilation in here. And I don't know if these people, if, if we're, we're seeing any kind of effects with them moving. That's very strange. Okay, we're moving forward. <laughs> by the time I, I try to correct, when I start to, you know, waver off a little bit to the other side, by the time I correct it, it's already too late. So it's so easy to overshoot a lot of these things. See? I'm trying to turn around. Very trippy. I know the game kind of ends when you collect collect the last orb. I'm not going to do that quite yet. I want to walk around here a little bit. Take a look at some things. All right, we got 99 orbs, guys. See the warping? As I move. Really crazy stuff. Again, this is free link will be in the description below if you want to come in here and experience this yourself um i wonder what this would look like in like vr right wouldn't that be crazy um this is not new this was actually made in like 2013 i think it was don't ask me how i found it um but i would like to see an updated version that um that's made specifically for vr this would be pretty amazing probably trippy too i can see people getting sick in it
I'm getting, I'm getting quite the hang, uh, hang of it, moving around in this stuff. All right, here we go. Let's grab. Can I not move through bushes? Okay, I can. There we go. Seven minutes, twenty-one seconds. Look up. <laughs> Look how difficult it is now. I guess I had to go through that at the very end. Lovely. Uh, the end. Crazy, isn't it? I don't know. I just thought it was interesting and I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, I can actually tweet this. That's probably a bad time. I'm not going to do that. Let's, let's find out what happened. Make everything as simple as possible, but not simpler. In a slower speed of light, the speed of light slows down with every orb you pick up. It is impossible for you to reach the speed of light, but certain relativistic effects become more visible as you get very close. Light behaves like a wave, and different wavelengths appear as different colors. As you and other objects move around, the wavelength of light changes, appearing redder or bluer to your eyes. Some light becomes infrared or ultraviolet, which your eyes cannot usually see, and other invisible sources of light will become visible. Moving left, the objects on the left are brighter than the objects on the right. This is the searchlight effect. Light also behaves like a stream of particles called photons. When you run towards a stream of photons, more photons hit you and the object becomes brighter. This effect is also known as relativistic aberration. Special relativity. Light always moves at the same speed. So if the speed of light is constant, then the distances and times in the world around you have to warp. Your time is different from the time in the world. This is time dilation. And your distances are different from the distances in the world. This is Lorentz transformation. You have to be much closer to the speed of light to notice the more dramatic effects of Lorentz transformation compared to the Doppler and searchlight effects. At the end of the game, the Doppler and searchlight effects are removed to make the Lorentz transformation easier for you to see. So that's what we saw with that intense warping at the end. The runtime effects. How beautiful, I wonder if they're dead. Normally, light is extremely fast, but if it takes time for photons to reach your eyes, when you look at anything, you are actually observing incoming light from some time in the past. And the farther you look into space, the further you look into history. This is easily uh, noticeable when you look at objects moving relative to yourself. Objects normally beyond your field of view can become visible when you move near the speed of light, as you see them as they were in the past. Acknowledgements. Lovely. So there you guys go, a slower speed of light. Again, I just thought it was something interesting that you might be curious to see. You can download it, uh, link in the description below to check it out yourself. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.